Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Dominic Moon. In today's episode, I'm right here in Intinda, Kisasi. I'm going to be showing you one of the biggest interchanges in the country. This is right at the northern bypass of the Intinda, Kisasi interchange. If you're new here, I want you to consider subscribing to the channel. Behind me is Akons International School. You can see everything is just clear. Uh, there are good apartments right there. And behind me is the interchange. I'm going to be taking you around to show you the Ntinda Kisasi interchange. Look behind me, man. Good apartments over there. So let's go and move around. Guys, I've tried to move and get the highest point at this place. I want to show you the interchange. Man, it's very nice. Just look. <laughs> behind me is the interchange. This is how the interchange looks like. Uh, from When you look at, at it from the top view, this is what you see. Uh, down there, down here, vehicles are moving from uh, from Busega, <laughs> from where is Busega, uh, to going to where get it down. Then up, right there, when when you look at the interchange from this point, uh, vehicles that are coming from this side are coming from Tinda, and uh, from the other point of the road, of course. Then from this point of the road, they are going to Ntinda. So when they reach the interchange, if you want to proceed to, to the other side, uh, you just proceed from that point. Yeah, so you just pass above and you continue to the other side. So on, the, on this point, vehicles are going to Masaka Fort Porto. Then from up again, they are coming from Masaka Fort Porto. So, Man, this is a very great interchange. Vehicles can easily pass here without traffic jam. I think these interchanges can be very good if they are put at different points of the country. It's a very nice interchange. Just look, man. <laughs> I just like this. The flow of traffic is uh, very clear here. So, if you're new here, I want you to consider subscribing. It's your boy, Dominic Mu. Show me the love, guys. So, let's try to zoom in and see the interchange clearly. Guys, when we look clearly at this point of the road, a lot of traffic signs are here. Uh, when we look there, they are showing that the driving speed is, uh, is about 50 kilometers per, per hour. So guys, the only thing that I see that is missing on this road is maybe cameras, but I think they will be installed very soon. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> such points can be dangerous at night. They need cameras to be installed, but I think the government is going to work on it. Yeah. It's, it's just an interchange, just needs to give flow. Uh, to every person moving around this point of the road pedestrians vehicles border borders bicycles whichever means of transport you're using the flow of transport is just clear i'm going to go and stand at this point i want to show you what's under that interchange how vehicles are flowing there Right now I'm seated in a, a waiting, what should I call it, a waiting place where people wait for vehicles uh, to proceed to the next place where they're going to travel to. And uh, man, it's just nice. It's semi-complete, semi but I think it will be completed soon. Oh, when I look at the other side of the road, oh man, <laughs> everything is just clear here. It's very nice. Oh my God. Yes. This, this is how uh, most of the roads in the country should be looking like. Just like this. The other side is, I think that is Kisasi. I'm sorry guys, I'm not a person who comes from here. 
I'm just a new member, but I'm trying to show you what's here. So guys, when you stand here, you can see what uh, just direct is, is, is coming from the underpass. Our vehicles that are coming from uh, Masaka, Fort Koto, pass through that underpass to proceed to where you get the ginger. So guys, let's proceed. And uh, right now we are moving through the underpass. <laughs> yeah, this is it. So vehicles pass from uh, Kisasi, from this side and they proceed to Ntinda from uh, this point. As you can see from uh, the, the top view of the video, the top view of this thing. Guys, I'm just risking to pass here. I don't know whether a pedestrians are allowed to walk from this point. But I have to say, this is the interchange man. Let's just proceed. So right now, I'm standing in the midst of the interchange. I'm standing in the middle of the interchange. When we look around, this is how it looks like. Yeah. So it's the interchange. Let's proceed. One of the first in Uganda. If you're new here, I want you to consider subscribing to the channel. So, boy, don't need more. I love you so much. That's why I risk to create content for you, content like this. You can only get this content on my channel, not from any other channel. Just under. <laughs> this is the strength of the of the bridge that connects from. Uh, Sassy and Tinder. This is, this is how strong it looks like. So let me proceed and show you. Let me proceed and take you around. Ah. Just like everything here. <laughs> so that's the bridge I've just been showing you. Guys, I want you to comment about what you're seeing here. How strong is this road? How durable is it? Can it last for over 100 years? Or it cannot? What's your thoughts? Share with me uh, what you think. Give me your thoughts, guys. I want to see your thoughts. Blowing in in the comment section. Feel free to comment. And guys, you can give me a suggestion of the video you want me to create for you. Uh, you may want to take you around maybe some point which i also don't know but for you you know and uh i want you to comment down tell me which point is that yeah so this is where we started our video from we started from Akons international school and i'm back there so when i stand at this point Behind me is the interchange. That's the interchange. And right there I'm seeing a Kayola bus. I'm told we have, we have the, the Tondeka bus that has been constructed by Ugandans. It's a solar powered bus. I don't know whether Kayola, Kayola is, I think is from China, I don't know. But we have a Tondeka bus. As a friend of mine who has shared a video, that's a Kayola, it takes a lot of people. 100 kilometers range, electric bus, okay. Yeah. I just like how these guys marked this road. The road signs are clear. Everything is marked, the zebra crossings, the markings of the road.
love you so much don't leave without subscribing behind me is the interchange how did you find the interchange guys i want you to consider uh, subscribing comment like and share this video so boy dominic Mo, and uh, i call this the end of the video bye bye